how do you describe the emotions at the end of that game and just the way to pull it out? Um, yeah, uh, we fought, uh, found a way to win the game, football game. Um, you know, obviously, I got to be way better uh, in situation football there. Uh, not even putting us in that situation, um, giving Jacksonville another opportunity with that much time on the clock. But defense had my back, not only my back, but offensive back. And, um, you know, we trust each other and we were able to get a win. Did you lose your balance on that play? Or? Just got to do better. Um, you know, not going to make any excuses, not going to. Just got to be better. That's really it. Um, I'm expected to, you know, understand the situation. I knew the situation. Uh, I tried to get down, but got to do a better job of it. I think you had... What was that like for you to have to be on the sidelines watching that final minute then? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. You know that you're the reason why they're in, even in that situation, or I forgot how much time they would have had, uh, but would have been in four. You, 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 you believe that you know our defense is going to get the job done, but in my mind, I'm just like, damn, I can't even put us in that situation. But like I said, uh, it came down literally to the last second, probably two yards. But this team has grit, the team has fight, and you know we found a way. How long do you hold stuff like that? Will you be rid of it by the time you get off the plane back in New York? Uh, to be honest, I'm a find a way to close my eyes, whether it's tonight, whether it's on the plane, play it back in my head, uh, you know do it the right way in my head and move on. Yeah, it's part of life. You're going to make mistakes. Uh, you're going to have your failures in life. Uh, but it's easier to learn from them you know, when, you, when it's a win. Uh, but this could easily go the other way. Uh, but go back, watch it on film, find time. When I'm able to shut my eyes, play it back, have positive, has positive reinforcement behind it, and move on. Saquon, you had 18 yards at halftime. I think you know, they were on nine carries, so they were doing what they needed to do. What changed late in the game? So you could, you know, you really. I don't think it's, you know, never want to take credit from another team. You know, they did a great job, uh, but that was me. I was running soft, thinking about, you know, thinking about the wrong things. O line was playing, playing lights out. I got to do a better job of hitting the hole. Um, but you know, found a way to get on fire a little bit closer to the end of the game. But I got, I got to do a better job of starting off faster. What were you? You say thinking about the wrong things. What were those thoughts? Six. Not going out there and be 2-6, that's all. Um, just got to go back out there and trust in it. Um, we, we have a great system. We have a great offensive line, uh, great players. Uh, and, you know, they've been doing a great job putting me in position to be successful. Um, and I got to make those plays, and I wasn't making those plays in the first half. Um, so I got to be better for the team. You ran the same play a bunch of times down the stretch, didn't you? Could I? Uh, <laughs> we did. Um, can't, can't stop it, why not? Um, like I said, but the difference was I was just doing a better job of hitting it, trusting it. The O-line, you know, especially Mav on those plays, uh, was, was doing a great job opening it up and just got to do a better job starting quicker. You said, I think, earlier this year the idea of, you know, a good team is able to run the ball when they know you're going to run the ball. They knew you were running the ball there. Is that almost the, the biggest statement that you guys could have made as an offense to, to gain the yards you did when they knew the same play was coming over and over again? Uh, I mean, that's every week, uh, especially where we're at now as a team. Um, you know, a lot of teams will come in, do different things to make sure, you know, slow down the run game. But when that happens, uh, you know, guys got to step up and make plays, which they've been doing all year. Um, DJ's been balling, um, you know, Slade going up top, um, David, Richie, all the guys, uh, the tight ends, all those guys, you know, coming and making plays when we need them. And uh, as that continues to happen, and, you know, you soften up a little bit, you can get back to just getting downhill and trusting the run. And, um, when you're able to do that when Calf and Days and all the guys, you know, the coaches don't give up on the run, especially when you're behind, you know, having trust in it and, you know, them continue to trust it. Um, and for us as players, making it work. When you, send this, when you run the same play at a team and it works and you run it again, do you think that has, like, a demoralizing effect on, on them? Uh, they start seeing it and they still can't stop? I mean, I don't know if they realized that it was the same play until, like, probably like the fifth or sixth time, to be completely honest. Um, and then we you know we had something off it when we keep it, and DJ made a big play, used his feet. Uh, you know, it's hard to. It can look like we run the same play, but you can run so many things out of that that formation. And um, you know, that's credit to, to Calf and Bobby um, setting us up. But was it demoralizing? I, I don't know. Um, just I can tell. You know, when you lean on the defense, when you lean on defense um, throughout the game, you can feel them starting to soften up and um, you know take them to the deep water and drown them.